Artificial intelligence has had some huge advancements as of lately and with the release of ChatGPT, an AI that can give programming advice, fix bugs, and even write code for you, it got me thinking. I want to put it to the test. I want to find out if AI can make a video game. So I signed up for ChatGPT and the first order of business was to get all the game details. So I told it to give me a simple game idea that I can make with Unity. It told me that I should make a platformer where the player must navigate through a series of levels by running, jumping, and avoiding obstacles. There would be power-ups, collectibles, and enemies along the way. It also said to have environments such as a forest, cave, or city. I followed up by asking some clarifying questions such as the number of levels, the different power-ups, and the types of collectibles that can be picked up. So based on what it told me, the design will be three levels. However, ChatGPT strong suits is text-based answers and doesn't deal with images. And of course, I need art for my game, so I had to find a solution. Luckily, OpenAI, the creators of GPT, have also made something called the DALL-E, which is perfect for what I was looking for. I can give it queries and it will generate various different images related to that query and be unique every time. And so the hunt began. After many attempts, I finally generated a player sprite, collectibles, platforms, and enemies that would work. So with everything ready, I launched a 2D Unity project. I brought in the character and the grass platform and it was time to test GPT's programming skills. I asked it to give me a 2D player movement script. The code that it gave me, I brought it in and well, this isn't what I was looking for. I'm trying to avoid debugging the code myself as much as possible. So let's ask GPT what the problem is. So I went back to GPT and asked it to give me code to fix the tilt issue. So I ran the game again and uh, well, there's another issue. After having some back and forth, it finally gave me what I was looking for. This was starting to show me that it wasn't going to be easy as I thought. In 2D platformer games, the camera should follow the player and so I went back and forth with GPT until it gave me something that I was looking for. And I also got it to use the jump sprite and bounce the player when I move around. Next up, I brought in the first enemy and surprisingly, the code that GPT gave me for that enemy was correct in the first try. I placed box colliders on the enemy and so jumping on the enemy kills it and when the enemy collides head on with the player, it kills the player. The level felt empty and so I brought in some art and finished up designing the first level. I also got code that would add this bobbing effect for the collectible gems and update the UI when picking it up. I wanted to include at least one of the power-ups in the first level so I brought in the extra health power-up and generated a finish flag to mark the end of the level where passing it will load the next scene. For level 2, it had told me to make it a cave so I generated art for the background and platforms and wanted to bring in two power-ups for this level where you need to use them to pass through the enemies. I told ChatGPT to add them to my existing script and it was able to do this flawlessly. I added the power-up images to the UI and asked GPT for code to control the alpha value, having it so that it's fully visible when the power-up is picked up and transparent otherwise. With only one grounded enemy, the game is kind of easy. So I brought in a different type of enemy and I was able to provide my existing enemy script to ChatGPT to modify it where this enemy would fly up and down instead. So I finished up level 2 and the game is actually starting to come together and become fun. Next up was to work on level 3. I went to Dali and generated a city background and storm platforms that would fit the theme. I felt like level 3 needed to be even more difficult so I asked GPT if there should be a boss enemy and it pretty much told me it's a good idea so I went with it. With the enemy generated it was time to get the code for the boss enemy but this is where I encountered a lot of problems. I was trying to get GPT to give me a script where the enemy would move left and right, fly randomly in the air for a certain duration amount and shoot fire projectiles. Else. Having a combo back and forth, fixing one issue led to another. I tried breaking down the queries, but it was still having trouble understanding what my end goal was. So after a freaking hour of struggling to get it to work, I ended up scrapping the flying and giving it a simpler query where it makes the enemy move left and right and followed up with it by telling it to add shooting projectiles. After finishing up level 3, I needed music for my game. So I found that OpenAI has something called the Jukebox, which is a neural network that generates music based on what you provide it. They have a site where they showcase what the AI has generated based on certain inspirations and so I was able to find this track that can work with the game. For the sound effects, I found this site made by Google that uses artificial intelligence to combine two different sound effects together. I actually found this website watching this cool devlog on a similar topic made by Dev Banana, which you guys should definitely check out. With the soundtrack and the sound effects in the game, the game was pretty much done. Though I wanted to ask GPT one last question, which was to name the video game. And out of the options that it generated, I felt like Realm Run sounded the best. So can AI make a video game? It turns out the answer is yes, but 
a little bit more complicated than that. It's not an easy process and there are definitely some limitations to what AI tools can do, but they can definitely be helpful in the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just reading what the AI told me to say. 